Hello, Saturday wrap, the Saturday wrap for Saturday the 20th of November 2021 time, 09.22 hours, I'm practicing lockdown. I don't know why. Well, uh, like all the trains on the rugby and stuff and whatever. And I don't really feel like going anywhere much. But Tropical Sour from Fault City Brewing in left-handed giant glass. And it's excellent. It's really good. Um, fruity, tropical, guava, pineapple, and lots of other things. Uh, a minus. I don't usually give out A minuses, but it's brilliant. Available in your local Tesco's. And it's not that expensive either. Scottish. Fault City specialise in fruity sours and stuff. I'd recommend them. Anyway, this week. The word or phrase of the week. Probably in the true meaning of the word watershed, which means usually like a mountain where if the rain falls on one side, the rain goes down the one side, and if it goes on the other side, then it's like the separation between two water catchment areas. However, in this case, it's the separation between a rather mild autumn and winter. Now, I'm going with meteorological winter, which starts on the 1st of December. The weather forecast from Sunday onwards, cold. Um, between 2 and 3 degrees overnight, which is enough to give you a frost. So if you haven't got any de-icing fluid or such like, um, now would be a great time to get some. Ah, and it also means dark, 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 dark. Probably... Oh. The whole of um, yeah, whole of December and then into early February. Ooh. To be honest, I am fed up of that sort of thing. I'm still debating where summer went, because all of a sudden and then it's gone. Um, yeah, but these things happen as you get older. Time flies even more. <coughs> he says, coughing. Um. So the app of the week, Costa Coffee's app. Because I wasn't going anywhere, I actually did go somewhere. I walked up to Costa Coffee on the Crossways Industrial Estate. And I have, well, I had three beans, which means three free cups of coffee available. And I couldn't get the thing to work. In the end, the guy said, come back to the front screen, show me the QR code, and I can do it through the till which suggests that it's maybe not as effective as possible. It should have a big thing that says, do you want to use your beans? Press you if you want to use one, two or three, off you jolly well go. Um, no, you don't use that app all the time. Um, so it should be as easy to use as possible. A redesign possibly, he says. Anyway, um, so, what happened since this time last week, which is in 4K. This is 1080p, but it does have two lights. <laughs> right, okay, so um, I was looking on Reddit. He says, scratching his head. There's a um, slash Cardiff group. And in there, Bubs. Bubs is closing down, I think towards the end of January. Something about a break clause in the lease contract and they've already got people to go in there and it was on Instagram and Facebook and people are really upset because Bubs was great. Bubs, Bubs used to sell a lot of this on draft. Um, they also used to sell a lot of very, very good different beers. They had street food in. They played a lot of Stevie Ray Vaughan. They had very friendly staff. I only hope that they can find another place in the centre of Cardiff. Apparently, Mad Dog are trying to get a place on Womanby Street, which is having similar issues. Ah, anyway, I'm going to miss Bubs, and I do hope they go somewhere else. But uh, whatever. So, 
it was MB07 day two, two days in Hereford, sitting in, well, sitting in the Hereford beer house and someone came in with a huge dog and a family and while I was looking at the fridge, they whopped into my normal seat. These things happen. He who hesitates is lost. Get your priorities marked out first, which I didn't do. Anyway, interesting to see what Johnny said. Um, he is, as you know, um, moving on. Uh, the place is sold. He is going to be a part-time brewer in Ledbury Real Ales. And someone said to him, will you be adding more hops than that? And he said, no. They're traditional beers. They're nuanced beers. They're subtle beers. And the brewery is, it's a local brewery. And he's fed up of the politics in craft and small breweries that start up that want to be national breweries and big things and they're more interested in who they become rather than the beers. I think there's a lot to be said for that, although I must admit I do like real ales, traditional ales, and I do like craft beers. So I can see both sides of the argument, although I tend to agree with him on the politics. I like to get away from the politics when I'm drinking fine ales. I really do. Anyway, had a great time there. Um, the Travel Lodge, the guy there, Scott, he's really good. Um, and I'm debating. I've got some leave at the beginning of December. Should I go back there? Is I was a four till eight. Um, I'm not altogether sure. Um, money's running out as well. Santa. Um, and I haven't done the lottery. Not that I win at all, but there you go. So, um, coming back on the Saturday morning, left just before dawn. And as I was coming back and it was getting light, the trees and the leaves and the colours and there was a bit of mist. It was really lovely. It was an excellent autumn morning. I really like autumn mornings like that. There wasn't a lot of traffic around. Even the M4 was on my side. It was a good Sunday. And it was sunny as well for the rest of the day, which meant I could do some washing and getting it dry. Which is more than can be said for the rest of the week, which has been distinctly European one. <sighs> right, um, Monday. Monday, the Spoons festive menu arrived. Basically, everything with brie. There were some pigs and blankets, but they're in a burger with brie. There's brie, 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 brie. Christmas is about turkey. I really miss the Spoons turkey Christmas dinners. They probably didn't make many of them, so that's why they've gone. But I really miss them. Bring them back. I can put mint sauce on them. <laughs> oh, um, Christmas is a time for mint sauce. And so is the rest of the year, to be perfectly honest. And I trimmed up my desk. Um, some lights I had a long time ago from Poundland um, with stars on the end, which have lost some of the stars, but they're still coloured. And batteries from Aldi, which came out quite well in the witch attests. And I just feel with the dark mornings and time speeding along and on the third floor, two Christmas trees now, it made me feel very positive, which is just as well because some of the days this week were drizzle plus, which wasn't really forecast. Hey, it's November still, but what can you do? And um, had a update to Filmic Pro which fixed the problem with the Mini 6. And I had an email from them saying, do you want to do the test flight download um, to see if it actually works? And I emailed them back with the build number and such like, and saying, no, really, it's fine. It works. The one that you released uh, might be a communication issue. Who knows? But hats off to the Filmic Pro developers and, well, the customer care. Um, Wednesday? Bedwars is now trimmed up um, on the street lamps. 
Now, funnily enough, um, when I went to Costa this morning, I went about quarter to seven in the morning, walked down the street, the Christmas lights were off. Coming back about ooh, eight o'clock-ish, maybe a bit later, when it was light, the Christmas lights were on. I'm not really quite sure what's going on there. Kifley Council at their very best yet again. But there you go. And on Thursday, I had a letter. An Iron Bevan Health Board. Uh, my booster jab. I know what's happened to Newbridge because I've been asked to go to Newport, the Newport Centre, just by Friars Walk, on Saturday the 5th. Um, now, I've got my own transport, but uh, Sunday buses, for people who haven't, can be rather tricky. It's at 11.20, so I think the first bus is about quarter to 10. I'm certainly going to have my jab, and then I'm going to spend the afternoon in Tiny Rebel and have a little pre-festive beano. And maybe see if I can get some extra Christmas lights from Poundland, because true spirit and all that sort of nonsense. Anyway, uh, right, yesterday, uh, Children in Need, which I don't like children. You've probably guessed that. And a certain person said he would have his legs waxed in the afternoon and then went home in the afternoon. <laughs> uh, that made me laugh as well, to be perfectly honest. But what can you do? This is the true spirit of yicking out, as they say. And the series finale, or the first series finale of The Foundation, well worth watching. Pulled all the things together quite well. I am now looking forward to the second series. I have no idea when that is going to be. But it's not like the books. The names are there, but the... Yeah. Both are worthwhile, though. Apple TV Plus, four ninety nine a month. If you get an Apple thing over Christmas, you're probably going to get it thrown in with it. Take advantage of it, because you'll have For All Mankind and Greyhound and Finch and Invasion, which that was on. That's a bit strange. It's... People call it slow. I call it strange but i like it a lot so have a look at it if you get the chance um and then my cost of breakfast coffee and a bacon roll haven't had that for about two months and i'm pleased to have it again mb08 next week i fully anticipate that there will be more costa coffees and bacon rolls gloucester in the Pelican, they're having a Manchester Beer Festival. That's something to look forward to. Unfortunately, no optimised departures. Well, it could be, but I would miss most of the morning. Mind you, they don't open until 12 o'clock anyway. So, let's hope there's a lot of moonlight around. Anyway, um, comments, etc. Uh, YouTube. Uh, WordPress, MeWe, Twitter, Facebook, all that sort of thing. Thank you for watching and um, have a very good week and take care of yourselves out there. Bye-bye.